A coalition of human rights activists has called on all medical practitioners to speak up against child sexual abuse or any form of abuse of children and domestic violence. The group led by Comrade Tonia Ojenagon made this call when they stormed the secretariat of the Nigerian Medical Association Body Thomas protesting the alleged rape of a minor by one Dr. Femi Olaleye, plus TV correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedokun witnessed it all and now reports. Solidarity forever, we shall always fight for These human rights activists are here at the office of the Nigerian Medical Association for the former Suruleri, Lagos. They are protesting the alleged rape of a minor by Dr. Femi Olaleye. They told Plus TV News that the case had been reported to the police and wondered why no arrest or action has been taken against the perpetrator. What is keeping the case from going to court? We don't know. Who is shielding Dr. Femi Olaleye? Who is backing him up? Why is the law not taking his course? Why? We want to know. They are saying that they are heartbroken because almost a year after the case was reported to the police, Dr. Olaleye is still walking on the streets of Lagos as a free man. There are no sacred cows. No matter your class or your, your placement in the society, if you are found guilty of a crime, you should be punished for that crime. And that is what it is. The constitution is there, no one is above the law. We do not want this to continue. Perpetrators are walking away with impunity, traumatizing and harassing um, victims. The victims are scared. Now we are hearing that there's someone in the helm of affairs backing this man up. That is the reason, the reason why he has not been arrested. He has not been arrested. Nigerian police, why? We hope they will do the needful. Yes. Because an injury to one, it's injury it's, to all. and if they keep quiet about it, then like I had stop says that, are we sure many of them are not doing the same thing? Yes. Because if you hear of something and you decide not to do anything about it, then you might also be an accomplice or maybe you are also an enabler that you are encouraging men to do such. The group is eager to see Dr. Femi punished for his crimes and so are calling on concerned authorities to ensure that justice is served. We want the state government to expedite action on this very case. It is justice delayed, it's justice denied. For the victim to get closure, for the victim to get a, a body come of relief, it is when she, she sees her abuser actually facing the music for what he has done. At a press conference last week, the group alleged that the minor was living with Olaleye when he allegedly deflowered her and threatened the victim against informing anyone. Olaleye was said to have perpetrated the crime for about 19 months until his wife got to know and subsequently reported the case to the Lagos State Police Command for investigation. The group has vowed not to stop at nothing until justice is served on Dr. Femi Olaleye. Meanwhile, all efforts to reach the accused proved abortive as he constantly places cause pulled through to him on busy mode. Love Ikuku Oyedoku. Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.